This is a third video in the Microsoft Outlook 2007 series and I wanted to do a quick video to talk about some features that I've come across that um, might be useful to know for work and also if you had to take a test. So I'm going to go over a few of those things that I haven't finished in the other videos and uh, I might repeat a few of them. So, so the first thing is um, sometimes when you get an email you can flag it for follow-up so you can use this flag option and you can say do a follow-up at a certain date this week or I can even do a custom and I can choose the start date and end date I can even put a reminder okay. so if I click OK now this message will have a flag and you get a if I set a reminder then I'll get a reminder too so the flag means that something needs to be done I need to reply to this you can search for email from this box so sometimes you get that so you just start typing and it will do the search I don't have too many emails in here right now if you wanted to check the email you just double click on it and it will open the window from which you can email you can delete from here you can also do a follow-up from here you can also move it to any folder you want and you can reply if you wanted to create a new folder you can just click in this new drop down button choose folder and then type a name and then it's going to put it under inbox which is fine I click OK now there is a folder there now if I wanted to put it under the personal folder I can click folder test one and I can put it under personal folders so that it will be lined up like this you may also get a question about creating a new search folder so you just click on the search folder and uh, you can create what is it that you want to do in this search folder so say for example I can say you know what um, this search folder will should be mailed with all the attachments so the mails with the attachments will be in the search folder and I can click OK so now I have a search folder with an option the search folder is automatically created I just created a new item called with attachments so when I click on it I'll see all the emails with the attachments already sitting there for me so I don't have to search for it and you can create it by different criteria you can also view things in Outlook in different ways. When you go to view, I can choose to remove the navigation pane. So look on the right hand side. The, the, sorry, the left hand side went. The navigation pane. View, navigation pane, normal. So this is the navigation pane. View, to do bar, which is the thing all the way to the right. The to do bar, which shows me the calendar and also like a task that I may have to do. So if I turn it off, the to-do bar is gone. I can go to view, to-do bar, normal. And you see the to-do bar is showing the flagged message that I just did earlier. So all my tasks are listed there reminding me what needs to be done. Under view I can choose to have the reading pane to the right which is right now it is on the right. I can have it on the bottom so that when I click on a message I should see the message on the bottom so that's the reading pane and you can choose to have the reading pane off I can have auto preview on so that the emails message is right in that see there's a line of that message so that's auto preview I can turn it back off uh, to write an email you can just click on new and you can just start typing the person's email address you can hit send you can attach a file if you wanted to you can also insert go to insert to attach the files and there are options to format text um, now if I wanted to send to somebody so I'll just write something so there is an option by which you can send a email with like uh, say you are having a meeting and you wanted to get email it to five six people and get their opinion about it which they worked best so under options there is a option to do use voting buttons 
and I can do like an approve or a reject voting or I can do a custom and in this voting section I can just put the date so say I wanted to put like uh, what is today so I'll just say 20 slash 03 slash 2013 so that is one date for the meeting the other date I can say is 22nd slash 03 slash 2013 colon uh, sorry semicolon uh, the comma doesn't work and say 26 slash 03 slash 2013 and I can click close I think I'm just gonna send it to my test account just to show you and I'm gonna hit send and you can see under option there are also themes that you can set to uh, you can also request the delivery receipt that is when somebody reads it or receives the email you'll get a delivery and you can also request a read receipt so that when somebody opens it you will get a read receipt you can also do a delay delivery so that is you don't want to send it right now but you can set a day and a time and then it will go out at that time so I'm just gonna hit send and I'm gonna go to the send and receive button and let's see so there it is I'm gonna double click on it and you see there is a vote option there so I can choose it and then it says send a response now I can click OK and I'll close it hit send receive and now I've got one of the votes back that is somebody chose which is me has chosen that and you can always move this um, email to wherever I want I can move this email to this test folder so I'm just dragging it and I can drop it right on it or you can right click and you can send it move to folder and you can choose where do you want to move it test click OK now the email has been moved deleting is easy you can just use this delete button here or right click and then choose delete come back to inbox so that's what's the polling option you can poll something that you can get feedback from people right in there um, calendar I talked about in the calendar you can view the calendar in week month and uh, you can just double click on a date and you can start creating a appointment the location the start time so if this is not an all-day event I can choose a time I can type whatever I want and I can also invite people and I can type their email addresses here or I can go to the tool section pick them from my contact books and now and then I can send it I can also set a recurrence so for example if this meeting was gonna happen once a month or whatever I can set a recurrence and say if it needs to be monthly um, say every Friday or you know every three months say for example or two months or four months every four months you're gonna meet once and does it have an end date or do you wanna only meet ten times you can set that click OK now the recurrence is set and I'm just gonna cancel the invitation in this case and I can hit save and close and the appointment is set because it jumped to the 14th uh, the four months so that's the way you add appointments I can go to contacts I can create new contacts start adding their names and then it's save and close now for exam purposes you need to make sure you hit save and close otherwise the job's not done so just start typing I can use the tab keys and then and then I hit save and close and that email address is added now if I wanted to send email this person the somebody or whoever a business card I can just right click on it and I can send it as a business card to somebody else not to the same person so this is the business card is added and I can choose an email address to send it to and they will get this business card so it's a pretty cool feature 
no to saving it. And you can also choose to see your contacts in different ways. I can show it as a phone list, address cards, you may get a question, something about that. Uh, there is an option to do tasks. You know, you can create tasks by hitting new now because you are in the task. So when you hit new, it will start that. When you click on the drop down, now you can choose to create appointments or notes from here. Now, if I finish this task, I can just put a check mark. I need to no, I need to right click. Uh, what happened to the option? For me to show you what I want to show you, I'm just going to create a new task and I'll call it test task. And you can always put a start date, today, end date is today, priority. You can also assign this task to somebody. So if you're working in a company, you can assign the task to somebody else if you wanted to. And you can also do a recurrence on the task. So I'll hit save and close. Now the task is added. Now if I double click on it, I can choose to mark as complete. So that's what I was looking for. Let's see if I get it if I right click. And there is an option. Because this is like an email follow up, I'm not getting that option when I right click. But up here, when I right click, I get the option to mark as complete. So now the task is completed. You can create a new comment by using the notes, like this button. And then you can type something here. So new, t new note, you can type something. Sometimes one of my things here are not activated like this up this is not updated to the latest one so sometimes I find it's not working well so I can click on new notes and I can close it now the note is listed here and even whenever you are in mail you can always click on the drop down and click on new note and you can close it and you can click on the notes section to see your notes in different ways. Come back to mail. Um, I want to tell you about uh, under tools. When you are working in an office environment where they are set up differently, in here you see an option called out of office assistant because I'm not using Outlook in the way it is used in the company with what is the server called Microsoft Exchange. I don't have that feature. But what that feature does is when you are away on vacation you can turn on out of office so that people will automatically get an email letting them know that you are away so whatever message you want to them to know the other thing you can also do is there is an option in that window where you'll be able to forward it to somebody so that whenever the emails come somebody else is getting him that forwarded to them so they can decide whether it's important to deal with that email so you may get a question about that so you need to be familiar with it under tools another option is you can create rules so I can create a new rule and I can say you know whenever a message comes with a specific word I click next and then what kind of words is it and then I can choose what to do with it when that specific words comes up so in the bottom I can choose specific word in the subject so I can say you know what whenever in the subject it says test add it click OK and I can also and then move it to where I can say whenever that happens move it to test one I'll click OK and then I click next I've already said that so I don't have to do this part because I did it on the bottom I click next if I want to put an exclusion if there was some exclusion I wanted to do. Click next. And that is the name of the rule. And I can even run it on my inbox so that it will check all the emails I have. And I hit finish. So that rule is added. I can go back and change it. I can even delete it. And I can click apply or just click OK. Now let's see, did I send any email with the word test in it? at least the word test was in that subject so see both the messages got moved to this folder so that's the rule option that you can set a rule and you can 
send it to another folder automatically. So this can be useful so that you can organize your emails into folders by importance so that the important emails you can get to quickly. The last thing I want to tell you about is tools, options. Under mail format you have the option to create signatures. And then you click new, give it a name, because you can have multiple signatures. And then you just type here your signature and you can choose whether you want this signature to be part of your new messages or you want it also part of the replies and then you click OK and you know you can add pictures and click OK now when I go to new email my signature should be there so this is just something that I thought that uh, you may want to know it's something important with out of office assistance and the rules and the flag option for the follow-up and also the option to creating a pool because I hadn't covered that topic in my previous two videos. Thank you for watching.